Greetings, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever time of the day you may be listening to this. I just wanted to come on and share uh, some information that could save lives um, and prevent sicknesses and or prayerfully reverse sicknesses um, and or death, as, as a matter of fact. Um, So, a lot of times, uh, the majority of the reasons why individuals uh, become ill um, chronically or otherwise is because, number one, because of worry. Because of worry. They worry too much. And worry uh, normally is a manifestation of fear. Okay? And then, because they fear, okay, that's another reason why, and fear is a manifestation of worry. So they, those two kind of go hand in hand. Uh, so we must not fear, we must not worry. Another thing is that goes with that, with those two, is unforgiveness, we must forgive. Many people are holding in so many things against uh, individuals, against themselves, against God, against organizations and entities and things of that nature. You must forgive. Unforgiveness for unbelievers is even a sin. So we must forgive. It will free your heart. It will free your heart. Another uh, thing we do um, is found in the manner in which we eat. Um, Eating is very important. What we put into our body and how much we put into our body is very, very important. Um, A lot of people overlook that, or I can eat what I want, I can do what I want, or because they think they're they're slim. You know, some some people have a mentality, oh, I'm slim, I can eat what I want, I can do what I want, you know, at different ages and stages of their life. But overeating, which is gluttony, which is another sin for believers, overeating causes sicknesses, okay? Overeating causes sicknesses. Then you have what you eat, okay? We have to be concerned with what we eat and how we eat it. So what are we eating? You know, are you eating too many fats? Um, Are you eating too many sugars? You know, are you eating too many of those things? Then how are you eating these things? Um, Are you eating, um, I think I said already too many things or too much, but how are you eating them? Are you eating them raw on occasion Um, uh, or, or, or whatnot? So those things are very, very important. So what I wanted to say regarding eating again is that a majority plant-based uh, diet is much better for us than eating say for instance macaroni and cheese is your side no macaroni and cheese cannot be your side your only side if you're going to have macaroni and cheese it should be a, a small amount and the majority of the other side should be a plant should be a collard green not cooked to death but a collard green a, a, a spinach or carrots or um, green beans or something like that and it must like I said be the majority on your plate should be majority plant based food it could be raw it could be steamed it could be cooked it could be roasted it could be grilled But it must be the majority of it as far as your meat or poultry or fish is concerned. That must be minimized. You know, it must like it must be minimized and it cannot be equal to your vegetable. Your vegetable needs to be 
the your you know your pro your vegetable needs to be the most uh the the thing the um the quantity must be must outweigh the quantity of the uh the vegetable must outweigh the uh meat poultry fish uh you know seafood whatever it is that you're eating um and some days you can also go meatless which is also very very good for your body gives your body a rest you'll see such a great difference you'll see how your body is eliminating toxins and eliminating waste just boom like that um, of course, we know that we need to take in, uh, you know, enough water and water is in a lot of vegetables as well as in a lot of fruit. So that therefore we can also um, kind of substitute some time having maybe having grapes, watermelon, uh, different foods, cabbages and things like that, that have more of a water content uh, in them. Um, I think. That may be all. If there's anything else, I will definitely mention it. But these are the things that cause heart attacks. Obesity, okay, chronic obesity, diabetes, uh, heart problems. I said that. Um, and what do you call this? Um, uh, stroke, um, high blood pressure, um, and, um, you know, hypertension. All of these stem from and or are a manifestation of how you're eating and worrying unforgiveness as well as um fear you know people you know even though the person is walking around smiling does not mean that that other stuff is not inside their heart because who knows the heart and there and there's many things within our hearts. That's why your heart must be clear and it must be clean. You must be careful with that. You must examine yourself daily and throughout the day. Okay, when I say daily, I don't mean just once a, once a day. I mean daily throughout the day. You must be cleansing yourself. Just like our liver, it's a, it, our liver is always cleansing i think it's our liver or kidney whichever one that's all that's that I, that is our cleansing mechanism for our body yo you should be always cleansing that heart to make sure that it is clear okay full of love full of joy full of peace you know what i mean and forgiveness you got to just let it roll off you can't keep offenses and things like that against people. You just got to let it go. You got to let it go. You know, don't even let it attend, come into your heart, period. Don't let people offend you. Don't be offended by people. Just say, oh, well, that's what the person thinks. That's their whatever. You know what I mean? There's just a way to try to get through that. So I think that's all like I was saying. So if there's anything else, there will be a part two. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Love you very much. Hope this information was helpful to somebody. Um, I know it has been very, very helpful to me. Uh, and, and let me mention even sugars. Eliminate sugars from your uh, diet. What did I say? Eliminate sugars from your diet do not intentionally eat sugars as much as possible do not um i guess i should have made a part two where i got any sugars but i almost forgot about them it do not intentionally eat sugars if if at all possible um the wrong especially not the wrong sugars um i guess that's why i mentioned the fruit but as far as I'm concerned, the, the way I eat, I don't eat uh, intentionally eat sugars. Uh, of course, if you have anything that's processed, um, it you know it's probably gonna have some sugar in it. So um, you you can, some things you just cannot help. So that's why you have to be careful um, how much you're taking in because there's gonna be sugar in every single thing. Um, already so you don't really need to intentionally eat it <laughs> um, so um, what I normally do if I, I I've kind of cut sweets out 
of my life, but of course there's sweets that come into my life through whatever type of something that has been packaged or processed. Um, but if I make anything of my own, which is going to be a banana bread, and that's just every so often, once every two to three months or something like that, because um, I make a batch for eating and a batch for the freezer, I don't even use sugar in that. <clears throat> I use the ripest of bananas, and I might put a, just a, maybe a couple of uh, teaspoons of honey, and that suffices um for the sweetness for me uh well i take that back well it does but what i also do sometimes is add uh chocolate chips so those things suffice for a sweetness which i don't even desire i don't even desire so any sugar crazy cravings that you do have um if you feel like you can't get over it you can get over it and through it you just got to stop doing it of course through prayer and through an agreement with god and definitely you can overcome any addictions that you have to sugars or any food addictions period so yeah we probably should have a more of a conversation regarding this now that i think about it but anyway leave a comment love you very much bye bye for now